Hi, my name's Charlie Mitchell. I'm with Andretti Autosport. I want to take a couple of minutes of your time today to explain what I do with the Big Kaiser Unilock pallet system. Now, I know that this pallet system was designed and used for high production machinery. You use it in pallet machines, horizontals, and vertical mills, and it's for mass producing a lot of parts. It makes it a lot easier and quicker to change out parts that way. So I thought, if I could do that with a, just a few pallets and some key fixtures that I needed to get the job done over here, I could cut my setup time down by as much as 70%. It's pretty simple. If I have pallets that have a grid on it with some quarter inch screws and some clamps, or I have a pallet with a, uh, an expandable collet on it, or even have the Unilock knobs hooked up to a five axis vise. It's so simple that I can simply come over here. This job I just finished. Pull the pallet out. My next job is gonna be a vise. Take the vise, drop it in there and it's done. A lot of times I use the coordinate systems inside the pallets and my XY coordinate system on this is already in in my G57. If my G54 is the vise and there's a particular JAWS set up on there, I just switch over to the G54. A lot of times I don't even have to touch off the pot to just to change my work coordinates because it's already in there. These pallets will repeat within two tenths of a thousandth of an inch. And I've checked that, and it's been actually even closer than that. So a lot of these pallets that I take care of has to do with um, uh, either fixtures or the grid, or obviously I have the, um, the vise in, in the machine. I might have uh, a, an, an arbor that I put on here. I also have a, pot, a pallet with a 5C collet holder, and I also have a pallet with a three-jaw chuck on it. So at any given time, if I decide I need a particular holding device, I'll grab that pallet and toss, that pallet and toss it in the machine. One more thing, because I don't want to take up too much of your time, but the knobs, you can buy the knobs and simply bolt the knob onto a big chunk of aluminum and drop it into a single receiver, machine whatever you want, and then your second operation, you take the knob off and machine off that area. It works. It will cut your setup times down. It will keep your spindles running and you'll make more money.